this year, um, we're going to have another immortal added to the list. The ninth immortal will be announced later in the year. Of course, um, the last to be announced was in 2012 was your brother, Maddie. Um, mm. This year, there's going to be greater, more diligent process in selecting the mm. next immortal based on on-field achievements as the main criteria. Some of the names being thrown up at the moment, Mal Meninga, Darren Lockyer and Norm Proven. Maddie, who do you think should become the next immortal steeped in NRL history? All worthy, but Norm Proven, without a doubt. Norm Proven, um, Styx Proven was his nickname, and, uh, mate, a legendary f- forward with the St George Dragons. And if you have a look at those great sides, like the amazing thing, I went to, I went to St George Leagues Club one day and I, I got my son and we went along and I showed him, see, see this, these all these premiership winning teams, mm-hmm. won 11 in a row. Well, Norm Proven captained 10 of those sides. Wow. Right? 10 of those sides. Um, a book that was written by a fellow called Larry Ryder called Never Before and Never Again, and it will never, ever happen again. And he was he was the guy who had he had so many great players in the team. I get that. But, mate, he kept him in line. He was a great player himself. He was a big personality, and they all just respected him. And for me, there is... There's no one who's done more in the game than Norm Proven. The thought of a more recent player like Darren Lockyer. His time will come. And, and he, I, I feel sorry for Mal. Yeah. Like last time. He was like, the odds on favourite. Um, yeah, he was favourite. Was he or Joey? And, and I, I sort of thought at the time, I thought, you know, I, I thought it might have gone to Mal. Mal's deserving. But nor, again, I think Mal in time, that sounds funny because he deserves it now. But Norm Proven, the, for, for my, Norm's still alive. Right at this point, but Norm's uh, Norm's eighty five now. Yeah. Right, give you, mate. He deserves it. He absolutely deserves it. And and for me, it's his time. He deserves to get it right now. He probably should have been. He should have been immortal before. He deserves it now. Who do you think, Gussie? Because hard you're a massive argue, fan. Hard to argue with Maddie and all those sort of stats and so forth. I'd I I would just question the, what Mal Meninga has actually done, not just on the field. And I know you say yeah. it, but. Is coaching on the field well, as well? I, I because think it's, it, it is. It has Putting to be. Yeah. team together. It, it so bleeds in without a doubt. So you've got State it, of yeah. Origin, obviously a wonderful team and a great leader who will be an immortal in his own right, Cameron Smith leading those. But you just sort of turn around and say, well, that's pretty successful, you know, 10 out of 11 series. Yeah, correct. And now what he's done with the Kangaroos, not just uh, successful, yeah. but just changed the culture yeah. of the mm. joint. Yes, he has. He's so done, why he's not done a both? Job. Why, I mean... The NRL can hand them to both, can't they? Yeah, well, they then they get to 10, I guess, and they probably don't want to crowd the market, Gotta be so special. to speak. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, who, who, who could deny either of those two yeah, gentlemen? No, no, L- Lockyer, like you say, he, he's going to have to – he might even miss out because Cameron Smith and JT at some you know, stage. You know, Gus, and this is the thing about we need to make a bigger thing of the Rugby League Hall of Fame because mm. there are so many great players who miss out. Mate, there, 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 sh- there should be an argument for Alan Langer. There should be an argument for Gene Miles. I mean, boy, oh boy, mate, there's been some unbelievable players that don't even get spoken about. Mm. As Could mortals. you make one for Freddie? Is he in the discussion? I tell you, what, he's not far from. Yeah. He's yeah. not far from. But geez, mate, it just shows you, Gus. There's so many. When you when you it, when you pause at Brad Fiddler and say, oh, maybe not, it shows you how many absolute rippers there were out there. 